Good, happy Saturday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, North Country residents work to fight opiate addiction. Dozens of North Country families were trained on how to administer overdose revels drugs and were equipped with narcotic kits Friday. Patriots take defense back quarterback and NFL draft. New England selected Alabama defense back Cyrus Jones, North Carolina State quarterback Jacob Barrett and helped for the offensive and defensive lines Friday. Patriots select Georgia wide receiver make trades. The New England Patriots started off day three at the NFL draft by taking Georgia wide receiver Malcolm Mitchell. Then they began dealing. David Ortiz dedicated home run to little boy fighting for his life. David Ortiz called his go-ahead home run against the New York Yankees right before the game to a young boy who is fighting for his life. Rochester Police cracked down on distracted driving. Rochester Police conducted 19 traffic stops and issued 14 tickets Friday in a contracted effort to reduce Cases of Distracted Driving Horn, Ayotte tried to promote GOP unity in Storm of Diaries, Diaries. With her party in Diaries at the national level, New Hampshire Republican Party Chairman, Chairwoman Jennifer Horn is holding fast to her belief that whoever wins the GOP nomination will win the presidency in November. Clinton campaign pivots to general election strategy in New Hampshire, other battleground states. Hillary Clinton's campaign said Friday it is pivoting to the general election with a first wave of campaign staffers beginning work his, this week in battleground states across the country, including New Hampshire. Medical marijuana dispensaries open Saturday morning. Granite staters with medical marijuana cards will be able to get therapeutic cannibals in the state Saturday morning after the state legislature legalized medical Cannibals in July of 2013. Made in New Hampshire Expo t continues today. The Made in New Hampshire Expo Saturday showcases quality of products and services from all over the Granite State. Squam Lake Science Center hosts New Hampshire Day. On a spring day in 1966, the Squam Lake Natural Science Center opened its doors with a crooked nose deer and few other endangered animals. Kidnapping defendant wants record purged of other cases. A gourmet man accused of kidnapping and holding a North Conway teenager hostage is accusing prosecutors of conspiracy against him in an attempt to damage his reputation before trial. Tension seen in GOP as convention approaches. The Republican Party is showing increased sighting of tension as it nears its July National Convention. Experts motor a presence of Zika-carrying mosquito. As the United States report 
its first death linked to the Zika virus. Officials in New Hampshire are advising residents to take precaution against the mosquito-borne disease. Seven arrested in Nashua drug sweep. Seven people were arrested Thursday on various drug charges after a drug sweep in Nashua, police officers said. Clinton Warren F Fenster. Elizabeth Warren would be the dream vice president pick for millions of fallen Bernie Sanders supporters in intense audit to charge that Hillary Clinton is too close to Wall Street. Woman for grandchildren killed in Texas flood. A 64-year-old woman and her four, four grandchildren were found dead aimed flooding in eastern Texas this morning. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.